Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video surprise is on the 2018 Toyota Sienna. I'm going to talk about are they safe overall in real life. So here's an example. Before we get started, please remember to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon if you want to be notified new videos. I really appreciate that thumbs up. Thank you very much in advance. So I was at the Toyota dealer and I observed the Sienna over here. You know, from the front inspection, it looks like maybe the bumper just fell off or something. It definitely is in an accident or something. I mean, you're looking from the license plate. It could be a 2019 model, by the way, too. So they haven't really changed the, the styling much. But I could tell you it's a limited edition one. So, you know, definitely very high-end and expensive. Leather seats and either got wood or fake wood inside. I don't know. But all I know is like, hey, you know, this vehicle's been an accident. Upon closer inspection, it looks like maybe just the bumper cover. If you're not looking at anything in the back, maybe the bumper cover. This car hit something in the front, maybe. Yeah, there's some misaligned fenders, you know, but the bumper's still there. Uh, yeah, I know the grill is kind of a little bit off by a little bit. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. Still pretty good shape, I guess, right? From the front. It's not, you know, definitely some kind of accident. You wouldn't want to buy the vehicle if it's accident in the front of course right but you know then again let's take a look at the the side well you can see that well the front two passenger seats are really pretty good shape there's no impact on it you know of course you know with any accident or something that you know the vehicle feels all the way through the accident the vibrations and all these other things right pretty much impact in the front so the vehicle looks Pretty good overall in the front. I actually saw this vehicle in person, so I tested that. And also, I talked to one of the sales guy on it, so he told me a little bit more about what happened and stuff like that. So this is the one that they do the drop off, drop off for the people when they drop off the car and stuff like that for service. So looking at the second row seats, you notice there are seats there, not a bench. Uh, the seats are intact, but they have glass shattered everywhere. Of course, right? There's the impact. So the side glass on the the left side just shattered. Um, I don't remember the one on the on the right to shatter or not. Maybe it did, I guess. But I was observing mostly on the left side, which is my right over here. We look at the video, and you can see the impact it's being seen over here. But overall, the vehicle held up really well. You could probably notice that looking at the pictures, right? So here's a little more, I'm leaning a little bit more back. So more hits the second row to the third row. So the impact point is really on the left side. Well, from my understanding, talking to the people there, they were hit by a semi. So you know, the semi trucks. So they're pretty, pretty big impact overall. And uh, the driver shook and there were like four people on, in the vehicle and they all have minor injuries and stuff. Of course, any injuries, result from you know accidents like this so by the way it's always a good idea to wear seat belts as well too so for all the safety it's a safer car you know this you know your results are showing here so Toyota actually beefed up their safety as well to see and notice the impact to the left I know I don't have the top of the vehicle but you can see it's the hit on the left side the window shattered, of course. Pretty much, the you can see now the car is going to be a total loss. The biggest thing is that it preserved life, and everybody walked away. And you know, you look at these pictures, you will understand everybody walked away too. It's not like the the vehicle completely caved in, you know. So here's a little bit zoom out view of that. You can see the vehicle held up really well overall. I mean, I'm very surprised. I mean, if I were shopping for a minivan, for example, right? I saw this picture and said, wow, this vehicle held up really well. And you know, the impact point is actually higher. So it must be a truck or some other vehicle that's higher. Yeah, the bumper is gone, I know. So, you know, but the impact point is to the left of the vehicle. So all in all, I mean, I'm very happy and very surprised that the Sienna has sustained, you know, this impact without any major, you know, I would expect like a tin can compression. On this vehicle but it wasn't that bad at all the energy absorption 
and the technology nowadays, wow, it definitely has some kind of like a, you know, some results showing for all those uh, new technology and testing and everything for safety begin to show. So my guess is this car is in 2018 or 2019, so you look at the license plate. Also, I found this other vehicle in a lot. It's called, it's a Corolla. They just have front damage. I don't know what happened to it, but that's just a minor front. I just float this in as well too, since if you're car shopping for a van or a bigger vehicle or even a smaller vehicle, you know, you want to, you know, look at the different vehicles. But any car you buy, if you have any major front damage like this, or even the van, no bad, you know, wear damage, if you any front damage, don't buy it. You have weird damage, yeah, it could be minor. You might want to, you know, you would say money, you could investigate if something is worth looking at, right? But if you have back damage, it's okay. Front damage, walk away. Don't buy those vehicles. We salvage or rebuild titles. So you got to be really careful in uh, purchasing used vehicles. So this one, I think they're going to total it. Then again, maybe they're going to rebuild it and start selling it again some other store. Because this dealer doesn't not gonna, not gonna sell it, you know, it might be at a third party, third tier, auto shop, sales shop or something like that. So you gotta watch out for all those uh, vehicles that have been repaired. Yeah. Don't I don't recommend you buy any salvage vehicle for sure. We built. I don't recommend that either. So hopefully this video helps you out and see the technology for Toyota, and Sienna, and the Corolla. They're all pretty good. Hope you like this video. Thumbs up. See you next time. Bye.